and welcome to Leadership in Context. Lead with your head, your heart, and your gut. This is Dr. Liz Musil, and welcome. Leaders use emotional as well as intellectual capabilities and understandings to help guide themselves and organizations through turbulent environments to help people feel energized, motivated, and cared for in the face of rapid change, uncertainty, and job insecurity. Leaders can expand the capabilities of their minds and hearts through conscious development and practice. Emotional intelligence. Leaders should also understand the importance of emotional intelligence. The four basic components of emotional intelligence are self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, and relationship management. Emotionally intelligent leaders can have a positive impact on organizations by helping employees grow, learn, and develop, creating a sense of purpose and meeting, instilling unity and team spirit, and basing relationships on trust and respect, which allows employees to take risks and fully contribute to an organization. Mental models. Mental models are theories that people hold about specific systems in the world and their expected behavior. Leaders should be aware of how their mental models affect their thinking and that they can cause blind spots that limit their understanding. Becoming aware of assumptions is the first step towards shifting one's mental models and beginning to be able to see the world in a new and different way. Four key issues important to expanding and develop a leader's mind are independent thinking, open-mindedness, systems thinking, and personal mastery. Expanding your mental models. Practicing independent thinking by using a global perspective. It's not uncommon for many leaders to become prisoners of their own assumptions and mindsets because these led to success in the past. They find themselves simply going along with the traditional way of doing things. A specific challenge for the mental models of leaders is to navigate through ambiguities and complexities on a global scale that far exceeds anything they encounter within their traditional management responsibilities. Having a global mindset can be defined as the ability of a manager to appreciate and influence individuals, groups, organizations, and systems that represent different social, cultural, political, institutional, intellectual, or psychological characteristics. Increasingly, a global mindset is necessary with organizations operating across boundaries Boundaryless organizations are possible with the evolution of technology and the internet. Most organizations now operate across geographic boundaries and can interface increasingly with people in different areas of the country as well as different countries, um, different job roles or responsibilities and goals. So increasingly as organizations work together with other companies to manifest their um, goals and objectives, having an open global mindset is needed. The leader's mind. Having a leader's mind encourages internal development. After all, the leader, as they behave externally to motivate and lead groups, organizations, teams, either physically or virtually, are only as successful as the leader himself or herself. So internal development of the leader and internal growth always helps the leader grow. So the leader's mind can be developed in four areas. Once again, by using independent thinking, practicing open-mindedness, understanding systems thinking, as well as personal mastery. 
Taking together, these four disciplines can provide a foundation that can help leaders examine their mental models and overcome their blind spots that may limit their leadership effectiveness and the success of their organization. Independent thinking. Independent thinking means questioning assumptions in interpreting data and events according to one's own beliefs, ideas, and thinking, as well as experiences, not according to pre-established rules, routines, or categories defined by others. People who think independently are willing to stand apart, to have opinions, to say what they think, and to determine a course of action based on what they personally believe rather than on what other people say or think. Open-mindedness. The power of conditioning that limits our thinking and behavior is illustrated by what has been called the pike syndrome. In an experiment, a northern pike is placed in one half of a large glass divided aquarium with numerous minnows placed on the other half. The hungry pike makes repeated attempts to get the minnows, but succeeds only in battering itself against the glass, finally learning that trying to reach the minnows is futile. Then the glass divider is removed, but the pike makes no attempt to attack the minnows because it has already been conditioned to believe that to reach them is impossible. When people assume they have complete knowledge of a situation because of past experience, they exhibit the Pike Syndrome, a trained response and incapacity that comes from rigid commitment to what was true in the past, as well as an inability to consider alternatives and different perspectives. Leaders, to be successful, have to forget many of their conditioned ideas and be open to new ones. This openness, putting aside preconceptions and suspended beliefs and opinions, can be referred to as a beginner's mind. Systems thinking. Systems thinking is the ability to see the synergy of a whole rather than just the separate elements in a system and to learn to reinforce or change the whole system pattern. Many people have been trained to solve problems by breaking a complex system into discrete parts and working to make each part perform as well as possible. However, the success of each piece does not add up to the success of the whole. It's also important to remember the relationship among the parts of the system is what matters. So if you change one part of a system because of the relationships that each part has with, with each other, like a ripple it, on the water, it will go ahead and affect all the other parts of that system. So systems thinking enables leaders to look for patterns or movement over time and focus on qualities such as rhythm, flow, direction, and shape, and networks of relationships that accomplish the performance of the whole. When leaders are able to see the structures that underlie complex situations, they can facilitate improvement, but it requires both a focus on the big picture as well as an understanding of the relationship of the parts and how they move in, synchroni in synchronicity. Finally, we want to talk about personal mastery. Personal mastery means mastering yourself in a way that facilitates your leadership and achieves desired results. So just reacting to situations, losing your temper, um, unclear communication, perhaps letting the ball drop here and there are all areas you want to improve on in your personal mastery. So to master oneself, you want to work on these three major qualities. Clarity of mind, that means a commitment to the truth of your current reality, okay? And that also means looking at things from multiple perspectives because understand that your reality is not the reality of somebody else that's working somewhere else or in a different part of the organization. So you also want to have a clear enough mind to see your perspective as well as the perspective of others. Clarity of objectives. This is to help you focus on the end result, the goals. What is your team trying to achieve? What is your vision that you're trying to move the organization forward to? What motivates you, your team, and your organization. 
And then you want to organize to achieve objectives. This is the way to bridge the disparity between reality and the vision of the better future. How are you going to make it happen? How are you going to communicate? Um, what kind of goals and objectives are you going to give individual members of your team? And how are you going to lead them to their reality and their future? And then once putting it together to the system, how are you going to make the whole system um, work in the new dynamic of where your organization is moving towards? All the elements of mind are interrelated. Independent thinking and open-mindedness improve systems thinking and enable personal mastery, helping leaders shift and expand their mental models.